Yo, what's up, man? <laughs> okay, already messed up, man. I tried to be a little bit more creative in my intros, so... Yeah, but this, this was just cringe. Okay. <laughs> Guys, today we are going to react on Dark Arm Duelist deck profile, Blackwing deck, January 2023. Yo, I love to react on other people's deck profiles because I always, like, get inspired, ins inspired by a lot of deck profiles, so... And Dark Arm Duelist is not an unknown YouTuber, right? So, so many people already asked me to uh, react on some of his Blackwing decks. And now he just dropped a new one, which I haven't seen yet. And I'm really excited to react on it. So, yeah, here we are reacting on this new deck. And I'm really excited, man. Really excited to see what he's got, man. Because I think he's also, like, going to do show us some things that we haven't seen maybe before i don't know man let's, let's, let's go let's go okay let's go let's go hey what's up guys it's dark arm duelist and technically doing a blackwing deck profile yeah so i'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck is my favorite deck of all time to play because you can summon out all sorts of amazing boss monsters like Yo. Blackwing assault dragon which is built can actually summon out three of them in the very first turn or even turn yes 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 yo 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 yo, yo, yo. I like this introduction, man. I like this. is This is how you're supposed to introduce a Blackwing deck, man. This is... Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Come on, come on. Let's, come on. Thumbs up, man. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Oh, I didn't... Okay, let's go. Continue. <laughs> Which is absolutely amazing. Nice. Without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can come part of Already done that, man. Already done that. Man, you earned it. With that, with that introduction, man, you earned it. Getting assigned cards in the mail and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Simoon. Simoon is the most important card in the entire deck to yep. in your opening hand. Because this card gets Fact. you your copy of Black Whirlwind. This card has the ability, if you control no monsters and this card is in your hand, you can manage any other Blackwing monster from your hand to place a Black Whirlwind from your deck face up on your side of the field. Which is an awesome effect to instantly get Black Whirlwind on the field. You can then yep. normal summon this card out to your side of the field without tributing, which actually actually doesn't even cost you your normal summon for the turn because you're normal summoning Simoon by its own effect, which is really good because it's also going to get you to do the search off the Black Whirlwind that you just placed on the field with your copy of Simoon's exactly. effect. The only downside of this card let's, is that let's move a little bit, man. We already know what those cards do, man. Okay, let's continue. Cards like Zaphros the Elite. We then play three copies of Sudri. Sudri is the best normal summon in the entire deck now. Yep. And as you believe, when this card is normal summon, you get to add one card that mentions Blackwing Dragon from your deck to your hand, except another copy of this card, which is an awesome effect to be able to search out all sorts of amazing cards yep. with your copies of Shamal and Vada. But this card also generates tokens, which is really good because they're actually tuner tokens by tributing one monster on your side of the field. You get to special summon out a Phantom Glimmer token that's a Wing Beast tuner, dark, level 2, 700 attack, and 700 defense, and then takes 700 points of damage. And you cannot special summon monsters from the extract the turn you activate this effect except Synchro Monsters, yep. which is not that big of a deal because that's pretty much all we're playing in the extract anyways. We didn't play three copies of Shamal the Sandstorm. This card is an awesome three on the deck that has you. You can see free. this card. You see, your hand free, beautiful. To play so, so the thing is, guys, I know that a lot of you, some of you people, not a lot of you, but some of you people like to play Shamal at two. But honestly, guys, why? Because Shamal is a card that you love to see on your hand. Like, starting off with Shamal, always, like, I understand that there might be some situations, like, where you have Shamal on your hand and Feather Wildwind on your hand and not a other single Blackwing monster. I understand that this sucks sometimes, but this like it happens maybe one of a million times. And besides that, you can always use Shamal to normal summon him, right? And then use also Bistil to go to full arm master. So Shamal at three is in my opinion a must, and this just proves it. A black feather whirlwind from your deck face up in your spell and trap card zone which is an awesome effect to just instantly get your copy of black yeah. feather whirlwind on your side of the field it also has the ability if a black wing synchro monster or a black wing dragon is special to your field while this card right, is let's, let's continue a little bit 
in the entire deck to search because it's going to instantly get you to your copy we of the black winged dragon yep because if you control a black wing monster other than a black wing bada you can special summon this card from your hand and you yep. can only special summon this card once per turn this way and during your main phase you can send this card from your field to the graveyard along with monsters from your deck that are non-tuner monsters that total level equal eight imagine to be that able to summon out a copy just like back in the good old days where you were able to really cool to say special summon uh more than once per turn your black wing monsters so imagine if it would have been like that that would be crazy man <laughs> from your deck to the graveyard a copy of chinook and zapros along with this card on your side of the field yep. out and he's playing three of them man i, I also believe that three you have to play three awesome you really have to play three card out on your side of the field we then play two copies of blackwing zapros the elite i still like playing two copies of Zap Yo, we've been there, right? We've done that. This is, like, it depends on how his deck is built, right? But playing two Zephyrus is still not wrong. It is still not wrong. Like, I, I, I've been doing it for a reason in the past, right? And with two Zephyrus, I was able to, like, get really far in the YCS. So, for some people that, that want to love or, like, argue about two Zephyrus, it's not, it's not bad. Especially like if you start off with Zephyros on your hand and Black Wyvern or like Zephyros and Vata and all the other Blackwing monsters besides Zutri, then it's also a good card that you would like to normal summon, right? So yeah, I understand that and I, and I, accept, I accept, I respect that. Two Zephyros, it depends on like how his deck is built, but it's not wrong. It's really not wrong. Davros and my build because it helps out to be able to bounce your cards off your side of the field and i really like to send this card because remember guys like a couple months ago before the before the um before the support came out uh we were we used to play zephyrus free we used to play three zephyrus right and a lot of people were laughing laughing about it but uh if you've been playing that deck for a long time then you understand how important having Zephyrus sometimes on your hand was so nothing wrong about that from my deck to the graveyard off my copy of Vada but I won't play them at three today okay three is way too much nowadays like one you have to play at least one two it just depends on man like it's not wrong but it depends on the, on your, your own taste to be honest like it's, it's yeah which is why I really like playing two copies of this card. So even if I draw into one, I still have one in the deck. But it is a once per duel effect that if this card's in the graveyard, you can turn one of the face of yeah. card that you control back to the hand, special summon this card from the graveyard, and then take 400 points of damage. Which is an awesome effect to be able to balance cards like your copy of Black Feather Whirlwind. Exactly. That is a soft once per turn while it's on your side yep. of the field, back to the hand, and then reactivate it to be able to use its effect all over again. We then play two copies of Chinook. Chinook is really good. Two Chinooks? A hand trap for the deck. This card is absolutely amazing as a two of in the build. And I really love this card. How well it flows with the rest of the. So the, it depends on if he's playing Hamilton or not. But if he does not play another level two, not like non tuner monster, then I understand why he's playing two Chinooks. But if he does, then honestly, two Chinooks, it's a card that you can search, right? And you can recycle it from the banished or from the graveyard every time. Like we already done that before, right? We activated in, in our turn and then in an opponent's turn with Twin Shadow and the uh, Black Feather Wildwind, we were able to special summon him again or like get him back to our hand and then activate again. So it's so easy to recycle Chinook and it's only once per turn. So I'm not sure if you should play two. Uh, but it depends on if he's playing like a couple, uh, not, if he's not playing another a single Hamilton, then two is definitely okay. The deck. This card has the ability that you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and then target one face up monster that your opponent controls, send a black wing sinker monster or a black wing dragon from your extract to the graveyard. And then if you do, until the end phase of the turn, the targeted monster loses 700 attack and also negate its effects. And it's a quick effect if you control a dark sinker monster, which is a super good effect to be able to combo with the rest of your cards in this deck. We then play a single copy of Auster. Auster is a great one of in the deck as a normal okay. summon because your copy. Okay, 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 okay. So now it really depends. Honestly, not not really, man. Because 
it's tough, man. I I, I really don't know. Cause I love, I used to love Austin, man. Like this car was back in the day, like even back in the day, like it, it was a car that we didn't really want to have on our hand. We we more like cause that's we played that car only once, right? We never played it twice or three times. We only played it once, and it was just because we were able to search it with Blackwing Simoon. And if we start with Simoon, then we do not need Auster. That's the thing. And if we banish Auster with Simoon, then Auster is dead. It's simply dead because we cannot special summon Auster, which sucks. If we could have special summon Auster, then it would be a different story, right? But because we cannot special summon him, it's just like a worse, I don't know, a worse Shamal. Or like not. Because the thing is, like, we cannot even special summon him with Y tricks. That's why nowadays I don't like also I do like his second effect now that you can like boost up the, the counters on Blackwing Dragon or like uh give out some tokens to your wedge 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 counters. No. Tokens, wedge counters. Yeah, to like uh put some counters on our opponent's monsters and then with full armor so we can just uh take control of that monster. So that is good. But besides that, like, you you do not want to normal summon Austin anymore. Only, only, okay, there's one exception. If you are playing a lure of darkness, then maybe I will play Austin. But if you're not playing a lure of darkness, if you're playing Pot of Prosperity, then Austin does not make sense in this deck, okay? That's the only if. So Simoon are going to banish your black wings and when you normal summon this card out to your side of the field you can target one of your level four lower banished black wings and special summon it back to your side of the field and yeah. place black feather counters on a black wing face up monster that your opponent controls and it does not have one which works extremely well with your copies of black wing full armor master yeah we then play a single That's copy true. of gale the whirlwind gale the whirlwind is one of the classic black wings and has a super simple effect that if you control another black wing monster you can special summon this card from your hand and it also has the ability that once per turn you can have the attack and defense of one face up monster that your opponent controls which can help you get over some really big boss monsters that your opponent might be playing yeah. we then play a single copy of steam the cloak this gale is really good man gale is really good but me personally i'm not sure if i'm like you haven't seen my new deck profile yet, right? Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be excited for the new deck profile, guys. That it has a lot of changes, man. The new deck profile has a lot of changes. But yeah, Gale is good, man. Because you can special summon more than once per turn, and at the same time, like halving the opponent's life points is really good. And then you can go with him to write Kiwi and pop the whole field. So Gale is nice. This card is an awesome Steam. combo piece that's yeah. really good because if this card leaves the field, you get to special summon a depending on like what deck he plays right now. Steam is really, really wind, good. Level one, 100 attack, and 100 defense. And if this card's in the graveyard, you can treat a monster special summon this card from the graveyard, and you can only use that effect of this card once. It doesn't even depend, man. Like, Steam, you, you, you cannot do anything wrong with playing Steam in the deck. Never. Steam is always great. Always. Term, which is Especially like against elements, if they milling your deck. And they send the Zephyros and the Steam to the graveyard, man. Ooh, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. This is an awesome, or once per duel, excuse me, which is an awesome fact just to get your copy of your Steam back from the graveyard once per duel. It's an awesome card for a combo piece in this deck and a really good one of. We then play a single copy of Hamaton. Hamaton is really good in the deck as one of his. Okay, so we do play Hamaton. Or oh, Hamaton. He, he I don't know how you guys. How do you guys pronounce. Hamilton. Do you say Hamilton or Hamilton? I, I love to say Hamilton. In Germany, we say Hamilton. Hamilton, and he says Hamilton. Hamilton. I oh, don't know, man. But um, yeah. So he's playing one Hamilton. So in my opinion, I wouldn't play two Chinooks now, because if you have two Chinooks on your hand, and you you're also playing two Zephyros, right? So there are already actually a lot of one-offs. And with, like, I'm not sure about Ulster, Chinook, Zephyros. Because, yeah. If you will play Zephyros once, then I will play Ulster. But if you're playing Ulster and two Zephyros, that, that kind of looks bricky to me, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, so he's playing Hammertown. So 
in that case, I would cut one Chinook, to be honest. As well, because if you control a Blackwing monster, other than a copy of this card, you can special summon this card from your hand, which is a great effect to instantly get another Blackwing on your side of the field. But this card is a super unique effect that if this card is on your side of the field, yeah, you we can, can we one can... of the Blackwing monster that you control. And that you can okay, we got one Rushy. Control another Blackwing monster, it's basic. Which is just really good to have a level one tuner in the deck. Yeah. We then play three copies of Dimensional Shifter. Shifter is just one of the best. My boy. My boy. My boy. See, see, this is what I like to see, man. This is what I love to see. The secret Shifter in the main. Yeah. This guy understood the assignment. He did. He did. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it, man. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Hand traps in the entire game right now. And it's pretty easy with this particular deck to play around your copies of Shifter. And it's just a high impact hand trap to be able to use against the opponent. Yes, sir. Especially if we get pushed to go second. But this card is a great three of in this particular deck. Because if you have no cards in your graveyard, quick effect, you can send this card up from your hand to the graveyard. And until the end phase of the next turn, any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. This card is really good as a three of the deck. And you can change it out for Skullmeister if you want to play something that's not going to banish everything from our graveyard but i still really like the copies of shifter in this particular build i'm then playing two copies of the multi-dimensional kaiju this card is really good to bring oh we have two kaijus that is interesting that is really really interesting break the opponent's board and get rid of an extremely powerful boss monster they have and it also helps us search out our copy of simu through our copy of small world which is really good to be able to search out our copy this dude this dude he understood the assignment copy of simu by revealing this card in the deck and then search out our copy of simu this card is a great two of the deck to be able to use and just a great card overall in this deck so that's yep. it for the monsters guys let's get into the spells i'm not sure though about those two radiants like that that kind of looks bricky to me to be honest because if you're playing the shifter shifter is also a great small world which obviously you can't go for simu with shifter as a bridge but uh you can still go for Zutri and Zutri is almost as good as Simon sometimes. So for the spells, we're just gonna be playing a few spells. We're gonna be playing two copies of Black Feather Whirlwind. This card is all my man. See, you have to play two Black Feather Whirlwinds, guys. Like if you see deck profiles of only one Black Feather Whirlwind, guys. Yeah, exactly. Awesome in the deck and easily searchable off your copies of Shamal. It has the ability once per turn if you can special summon a dark synchro monster from the extra deck, except during the damage step, then you can target one of your Blackwing monsters or yes, a Blackwing dragon that's banished or in the graveyard with less attack than the special summon monster and special summon it. And once per turn, if a dark cards right. in the entire Three times deck, black woman beautiful even a one love turn. to see that that when a blackwing monster is normal summoned to your side of the field you can add a blackwing monster from your deck to your hand with less attack than that monster which is a super good effect to be able to search your deck for basically any blackwing that you need at any time yep. which is really cool especially with multiple cards in this deck giving us additional normal summons like your copies of simu normal summoning itself off its own effects and nothing giving you an additional normal summon Yep. We then play three copies of Pot of Prosperity. This card just helps us dig. Okay, so he is playing Pot of Prosperity. In this case, my man, playing Alster does not make a lot of sense, to be honest. You're going to break more often with Alster than that it's actually going to be advantage for you. And yeah, it's like Alster is only going to be advantage for you if he's like in your deck still. Because then you can like send him with uh, Boris Storm. Then you to like then if you're like going second right if you're going second then you would love to send the Oster. but if Oster is on your hand and you're going second you're gonna lose that game you're gonna lose that game that's why if you're playing pot of prosperity in my opinion i wouldn't be playing the Oster. but yeah 
to get into the deck because we don't need every single synchro monster that we have in the extract and this card just helps us by banishing certain cards out of our extract that we not, might not need in that particular situation and then letting us dig into the deck for the exact card that we need we then play three copies of small world small world is extremely powerful at helping us search out our copy of simoon in this particular oh, deck which is why we're playing three copies of this card this card is extremely powerful by revealing any blackwing that you want from your hand and then revealing your multi-dimensional kaiju in the deck to let you search out your copy of your simoon directly from the deck this card is extremely powerful in the deck and a definite three of in this particular build because you need to get to simoon as quickly as possible so you can go in for full combo we then play three copies of Dimensional Fisher. This card can be activated at the end of your combo. Which is oh, really I nice. love this dude, man. This I love this Monster dude. Sent to the graveyard is banished instead, which is an extremely powerful effect. You can go through your entire combo against your opponent on the very first turn, with this card being the last card that you activate, which is extremely powerful because you can basically turn your opponent's entire turn off depending on what you're playing against, which is really powerful with this deck. So, yeah, that's it Back for the spells, guys let's get into the traps so for the traps we're just going to be playing a single trap in this particular deck and it's going to be a single copy of twin shadow wing twin shadow twin shadow is a definite one of in this particular deck but you only need a single copy of this card it lets yeah you let's go to the extra deck man i'm excited for the extra deck the main deck guys let's get into the extra deck yeah so for the extra deck we're gonna be playing three copies of black wing assault oh i see a starlight a three of the deck and it's a super powerful boss monster that we can actually summon out three of them in a single turn with this build yeah this card is the ability it must either be synchro summoned or special summoned from your extra deck by banishing a tuner synchro monster and a black wing dragon from face up from your field or graveyard and each time your opponent activates a monster effect you get to place a black feather counter on this card and when an effect is resolved and if you do inflict 700 points of damage to your opponent which is super probable because it actually stacks which is really cool between all three of them and during your opponent's turn quick effect you yep. can tribute this card with four or more of black winged dragon black winged dragon is a really i love how he's flexing with the starlight look at this copy of look at this black -winged ooh, ooh, dragon. Ooh, ooh. Nice, bro. Nice. Go into a copy nice. of Black Winged Assault Dragon all the time in this deck. And the card that we're always summoning off our copy of Vada. Yeah. I feel like one copy is totally fine in this particular build. You could play two, but I really like just one copy of this card. Next. We then play a single copy of Blackwing Full Armor Master. This card is insanely powerful. It's unaffected by every card effect, which is extremely powerful. And yep. each time a monster that your opponent controls activates Next. its effect, you get to play Continue. Some extremely powerful. We then play a single copy of Yeah, he got the ultimate silver and beautiful. Beautiful my man. My man. He understood the assignment, man. I can tell he is a Blackwing fan. I can tell that. Card is summoned on the field, especially during the opponent's turn to interrupt them. We then play a single copy of Blackwing Ooh, I don't even have that one yet, man. I play this card as a one of this particular build. It can't be destroyed by battle and anytime it's involved in a battle, you get to place a wedge count on the monster. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Well, all messes in the deck. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. My man, full arm, uh, sorry, armor master, not full armor master, armor master is making a comeback. The thing with armor master, guys, is that even back then in Edison format, that card was strong, but only in that time back then. Nowadays, if you if you are playing the Edison format, then the armor master is so a so easy to get oh like every time i see arm master I'm only gonna keep him like for one turn to be honest after the second turn i always lose my arm master against an edison for example against the caius because nowadays cards are just easily getting sent back to the graveyard uh sent back to the to the exit deck or just shuffle back or banish destroy whatever and that's why, in my opinion, full arm master does not really make sense. Like, I, I can't see a game where I just summon the full arm master and then just run over someone. Like, I, I do understand it somehow because with full arm master, then obviously main phase two, you can put a wedge counter on your opponent. I think it was a wedge counter, right? Yeah, wedge counter. You can put it on your opponent. Monster, thanks to arm master, and then with full arm master, you can take control over that. So you can do that. So that kind of makes sense. But 
And a lot of times you rather go for like right Kiwi or something and then destroy pop the whole field, right? So Arm Master, in my opinion, is it's a beautiful card. I love it. One of my favorite black wing monsters, but it's not as good as it used to be. Monster that battles. You can also pull the wedge counter out. Or like even back then, it, it was kind of strong, but it was not it was not uh difficult to get rid of the Arm Master, even back then in Edison format of the monster that it has a wedge counter and reduce that opponent's monster down to zero attack and defense points which is really a powerful effect and then play a single copy of chidori chidori gets absolutely massive in this particular deck which is why i play this card as a one of play a single copy of raikiri because it can pop multiple cards on the field which is really nice. also just got copy my ultimate raikiri so Sinan that's Hawk beautiful is basically a monster reborn so let you target one level five or higher wing beast monster in your graveyard and special summon it once per turn which is a really awesome effect you can play a single copy of nothing nothing is extremely powerful because if this card is yeah nothing is a must points of damage your opponent then you can target a face-up monster they control it yeah. loses 800 attack and defense and you can only use this effect of this card once per turn and during your main phase you can normal summon one black wing monster in addition to your normal yep. summoner set which is a really good effect to be able to use on nothing in the way, a single copy of Borea Storm. The reason we play this card in the deck is because it can level modulate itself, and it's also basically a walking foolish burial. If this card is Singer Summon, you can send a Blackwing monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do, this card's level becomes the same as that monster sent to the graveyard, which can help us level. Mo How about Bo Borea Storm? I kept telling, saying Borea Storm for some reason. I don't know why, but it is Borea Storm, right? It is Borea Storm. Borea Storm. Why did I always say? Restorm or like okay, it has like an east in it, but yeah, I'm sorry, like English is not a, my main native language, so uh, yeah, but it's Borea Storm, yeah, that's true. Like to go into a bunch of different synchro plays, which is super helpful in this deck. It's also a tuner synchro monster, which helps us go into our copy of a soul dragon, which is yeah. really good. You can play a single copy of Hot Red Dragon Ooh. Archfiend Abyss. This card is a walking <laughs> negate, which is why I play this card as a one of. We can play a single copy of Sorrow Cat. Sorrow Cat is really good to let us sing or summon during our opponent's turn into our final card, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity, which is. My man, he understood the assignment. He did understand the assignment. My man, my man, beautiful turns our opponent's turn completely off which is really cool because when this card is synchro summon you can activate this effect for the rest of the turn your opponent cannot activate cards also cards that your opponent controls cannot activate their effects and your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation which is an extremely powerful effect especially if you can put this card on your side of the field and then synchro summon during your opponent's turn and your copy of king calamity which is super easy to do in this deck so that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played yep. Black Wings before, you definitely should give the deck a try. It's one of my favorite decks to play of all time. Probably my favorite deck of all time to play. And just a really fun deck to play, especially this build. You can change out the copies of Dimensional Shifter and the copies of Fisher out for other hand traps like Infinite and Permanence and Ash Blossom. But that's yeah. it for the deck. So, anyways, guys, this is it for this one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Okay. All right, so uh, out of from one to ten, what do I rate this deck profile as a Blackwing deck? I would give it a solid eight, to be honest. A solid eight, and that's a good eight because he's playing, he's playing the small worlds, he's playing Dimension Fissure, Fissure, he's playing Shifter. I love that. The problem with this deck is that it has not a single chance going second. If you don't draw the Shifter. You lose because he's not playing any other single hand traps, and otherwise, uh, the other on the other hand, you 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 might even break, you might even break on that on like, yeah. So I'm not sure about something like like I said, Oster. I'm not sure about Oster. I'm not I'm not sure about two Chinooks. The two Zephyrs are like you can argue about that, but uh, I realized that after playing so many weeks months with this new support i realized that you don't even need to have sephiroth in your in your uh you don't even need uh vata to activate his effect to go into uh my man but yeah so yeah and then yeah, i would i would 
Yeah, like I would cut the gale. Not nah. Okay, you can keep the gale in the pure black wing synchro deck, but I would definitely take out the Auster, one Chinook, maybe one Zephyros, and then in the X deck, guys. I don't know why he's not playing the Draco Berserker because it's a synchro monster. It's a dark type, and if it's just a beautiful card that you would like to have, honestly. So I'm not sure why he's not playing that. Uh, but yeah, so. The Armaster is a really good looking card, especially in Starlight, but nowadays it's just not worth it to play to play the Armor Master. So I'd rather have the Drake Observer. But I really appreciate that he's playing all of the Blackwing monsters. So that's beautiful to see. But yeah, just in general. Yeah. Oh by the way, we can also cut Steam in this deck to be honest. Cause Steam I'm not sure what 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 he's trying to do, like what kind of combos he's trying to do with Steam. Because we we used to we used to we used to use Steam to go into Kali Yuga, right? But his board is basically oh sorry, my bad, my bad. Um, he is playing the uh, Kalimidi, King Kalimidi, of course. He needs Steam. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll take that back. I'll cut that back. He has to play uh, Steam. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's the other thing, man. I love that he is playing King Kalimidi, man. This is if you want to play a non Kali Yuga build, then you have to play him. And yeah, so 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Beautiful deck. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, I would love to see his side deck because, uh, yeah. Alright, guys. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's solid. It could be better. But it's it's really good. Better than some other deck. Alright, I'll go before I get banned. Alright, bye bye. Take care.